Pokemon, the trading card game, the basic rules, how to play. The object of the game is to be the first player to either take all your prize cards, knock out all of your opponent's Pokemon, or to not run out of cards in your deck before your opponent. Each player provides their own deck of exactly 60 cards. When you are building a deck, you can only have four copies of a card with the exact same name, even if the image is different, with the exception for basic energy cards, which you can have as many as you want. You must have at least one basic Pokemon in it. There are three types of cards. Pokemon, which come in basic, stage one, and stage two. Energy, of which there is basic and special, and Trainer, which contain items, supporters, and stadiums. Each player shuffles their deck. No one can look at or change the order of cards in either player's deck unless a card says so. Flip a coin and the winner decides who goes first. Each player draws seven cards from their deck to form their hand. Players may not look at their opponent's hand unless a card says so. In the center of the table is the in-play zone, which is shared by the players. On your half, you have your active spot, bench, deck, discard pile, and prize cards. Each player starts with and must always have one active Pokemon. If your active Pokemon is knocked out, move one Pokemon from your bench to your active spot. You may only have one active Pokemon at a time. If you run out of active Pokemon, then you lose the game. Each player has their own discard pile located below their deck. Cards taken out of play go to the discard pile unless a card specifically says otherwise. Typically, when a Pokemon is knocked out, that Pokemon and all cards attached to it go to their owner's discard pile. After drawing your hands, in turn order, each player places one basic Pokemon from their hand face down in their active spot. If you don't have any basic Pokemon, show your hand to your opponent, then return it to your deck. Shuffle, then draw seven new cards. This is called a mulligan. Repeat this process until you have a playable Pokemon. Your opponent may draw one card for each mulligan you took. After each player has a basic Pokemon in play, you may now, in turn order, play up to five additional basic Pokemon face down to your bench if you want. Each player may have up to five Pokemon on their bench at any one time. Pokemon in the active spot and on the bench are considered in play. Any Pokemon in play, other than the active Pokemon, must be on the bench. Both players set aside the top six cards from their deck face down to their prize area. Both players now flip their active and benched Pokemon face up and the game begins. On your turn, you must first draw one card. If your deck is empty and you are unable to draw, then you lose the game. After you draw, you can perform any of the following actions any number of times unless otherwise stated in any order. Play a Pokemon. Put a basic Pokemon from your hand face up on your bench. Evolve your Pokemon. If you have a Pokemon card in your hand that says evolves from, then the name of a Pokemon you already had in play since the beginning of your turn, then you may play that card from your hand on top of that Pokemon. This is called evolving. You may evolve a basic Pokemon to a stage one or a stage one to a stage two. You may not evolve a Pokemon the same turn you put it into play or a Pokemon you just evolved. When a Pokemon evolves, it keeps all the cards attached to it and any damage counters on it. All effects from attacks or special conditions on it, such as asleep, confused, or poisoned, end when it evolves and are removed. A Pokemon cannot use the attacks or abilities of its previous evolution unless a card says so. The player who goes first may not evolve Pokemon on their first turn. Attach Energy. Attach one energy card from your hand to any of your Pokemon in play by placing it underneath. Pokemon can only use energy that is attached to them, and you can only attach one energy card each turn. Play Trainer Cards. Reveal a trainer card from your hand and do what it says and obey the rule at the bottom. Some trainer cards, like supporters, can only be played once each turn. Once played, you discard the card, unless the card says otherwise like for stadiums. A stadium stays in play when you play it. Only one stadium can be in play at a time. Discard the old one and end its effects. You cannot play a stadium card if a card with the same name is already in play. The player who goes first may not play a trainer supporter card on their first turn. Pokemon tools play underneath a Pokemon in play and grant that Pokemon unique abilities. A Pokemon may only have one tool attached to it. 
You may not remove or replace a tool once it is attached to a Pokemon, unless a specific card says so. Retreat your active Pokemon. Once per turn, you can discard one energy from your active Pokemon for each listed in its retreat cost. If none are listed, it retreats for free. You switch that retreating Pokemon with a Pokemon from your bench. Keep all damage counters and all attached cards with each Pokemon when they switch. Pokemon that are asleep or paralyzed cannot retreat. When your active Pokemon goes to your bench, whether it retreated or got there some other way, special conditions and all effects from attacks are removed from it. If you retreat, you can still attack that turn with your new active Pokemon. If you don't have enough energy to retreat, then you may not retreat. Use Abilities Some Pokemon have special abilities they can use. Many of the abilities can be used before you attack. Each says how they work, so be sure to follow any condition that needs to be met. Some abilities work all the time even without you using them. Announce which abilities you are using as you use them. Abilities aren't attacks, so you can still attack if you use an ability. You can use your abilities from both your active and benched Pokemon. After you perform actions, you attack. Then your turn ends. Once you attack, you may not perform any more actions. On the very first turn of the game, the starting player skips attacking. Only your active Pokemon may attack, and that Pokemon needs the correct amount of energy attached to it in order to attack. On each Pokemon card, attacks are listed here. Each attack's energy cost is here. A colored energy requires that specific color of energy to be attached to the Pokemon, while a white energy with a black star is colorless and can use any type of energy. This symbol means the attack cost is nothing. The amount of damage each attack does is listed next to it. If your active Pokemon has the required energy attached to it, you may perform the attack against your opponent's active Pokemon if you want. State which attack you are using, you can only use one. Then, calculate damage. Some attacks do not do damage. To calculate damage, first, check your opponent's active Pokemon's weaknesses and resistance. If the symbol matches your active Pokemon's type, then for weakness, apply the multiplier to the attack value of your active Pokemon. Or, for resistance, subtract the indicated number from your active Pokemon's attack value. Weakness is calculated before resistance. Place one damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon for each 10 damage dealt. You can use numbered damage counters to save space. If the attack value was less than zero, then no damage is given or removed. Weaknesses and resistance do not apply to Pokemon on the bench should a special attack allow you to target them. Each Pokemon's total hit points are located in the top right. When a Pokemon's damage is equal to or greater than its HP, then that Pokemon is knocked out and it, along with every card attached to it, is discarded. When you knock out one of your opponent's Pokemon, you take one of your prize cards at random without looking at it first and put it into your hand. If you're the first player to take their last prize card, you win. When your active Pokemon is knocked out, put one of your Pokemon on your bench in your active spot. After attacking, your turn ends and the Pokemon checkup step happens in between turns in this order. Poisoned, burned, asleep, paralyzed, other abilities. Afterward, check to see if any effective Pokemon were knocked out. Then, start the next player's turn. Special conditions can only happen to an active Pokemon. The special conditions are asleep. Turn the Pokemon counterclockwise 90 degrees. If a Pokemon is asleep, it cannot attack or retreat. During checkup, flip a coin. If you flip heads, the Pokemon wakes up and you turn the card right side up. Burned. Put a burn marker on it, replacing any burn marker that is already there. During checkup, put two damage counters on the Pokemon, then flip a coin. If it is heads, remove the burn marker. Confused. Turn a confused Pokemon upside down. Before attacking with it, you must flip a coin. If heads, the attack works normally. If tails, the attack does nothing, and you put three damage counters on your confused Pokemon, and the attack is over. Regardless of what you flipped, the Pokemon remains confused. Paralyzed. Turn the paralyzed Pokemon clockwise. If a Pokemon is paralyzed, it cannot attack or retreat. Remove the special condition paralyzed during checkup if your Pokemon was paralyzed since the beginning of your most recent turn. Poisoned. When a Pokemon is poisoned, put a poison marker on it, replacing any poison marker already there. During checkup, put one damage counter on your poisoned Pokemon, but you do not flip a coin. 
Since Asleep, Confused, and Paralyze all rotate a Pokémon's card, whichever one happened last to the Pokémon is the only one that is in effect. Since Poisoned and Burned use markers, those can both be on a Pokémon simultaneously and can also be there while a card is rotated for another special condition. Both players perform special conditions after each player's turn. Check out my Advanced Rules playlist for more advanced rules from different generations of cards that have been introduced to the game over the years.